Hi, it's Mr. T here. This is an atomic structure and bonding quiz. Um, it has 30 multi-choice questions, and these questions all cover atomic structure, bonding, and energy of a beginning chemistry course. Now, repeating this test will help you with your long-term memory so you can recall the important um, ideas in chemistry. Aim for the A plus here, which is 27 to 30 correct. But if you get less, look to improve over time. Let me know if you find the video helpful. Subscribe and notify if you want other videos like this. Good luck. First question. How many electron density regions are around the central sulfur atom? Are there 8, 10, 16, or 34? Correct, there are 8. Question 2. How many valence electrons are there in this molecule? Are there 10, 16, 20, or 24? If you put 16, you were correct. Question 3. How many electron density regions are there around the central nitrogen atom? Are there 1, 2, 3, or 4? 3 is the correct answer here. Well done if you got that. Question 4. What is the approximate bond angle in this molecule? Is it 90 degrees, 109 degrees, 120 degrees, or 180 degrees? Well done if you put 120 degrees. Question 5. Is this molecule polar or nonpolar? If you put this molecule as polar, you are correct. Good work. Is this molecule polar or nonpolar? This molecule is also polar. Well done if you got that correct. Question 7. Is this molecule symmetric or asymmetric? This molecule has multiple planes of symmetry. It is symmetric. Question 8. Is this molecule asymmetric or symmetric? When we're working out whether a molecule is polar or not, we say this molecule is asymmetric. Question 9. Is this molecule symmetric or asymmetric? This molecule is asymmetric when we are working out the polarity of a molecule. Okay. Let's look now at types of substances. What type of substance is the following? This is H2O. Is it extended covalent, molecular, metallic, or ionic? This here is a molecular solid. Question 11. What type of substance is the following? Is the sodium chloride here extended covalent, molecular, metallic, or ionic? Good work if you said it was ionic. Question 12. What type of bond does the following solid have? This is silicon dioxide or silica. Does it have a covalent bonds, intermolecular bonds, metallic bonds, 
or ionic bonds. Well done if you identified that it had covalent bonds. What type of bonds does the following solid have? This is silver. Does it have covalent, intermolecular, metallic, or ionic? This has metallic bonds. What type of particles made up the, make up the following solid? Is it made up of atoms, molecules, atoms and electrons, or ions? This, correct if you put it, this has atoms and delocalized electrons. What type of particles make up this solid here, H2O? Is it made up of atoms, molecules, atoms and delocalized electrons, or ions? Correct if you put molecules. Question 16. If a solid has the following properties, what type of solid is it? So if it's soluble in water, high melting point and brittle, is it extended covalent, molecular, metallic, or ionic? Well done if you identified it was ionic. Question 17. If a hot solid has the following properties, what type of solid is it? So it's insoluble in water, it has a high melting point, and it conducts electricity. Is it extended covalent, molecular, metallic, or ionic? If you put metallic down, then you're absolutely correct. Question 18. If a solid has the following properties, what type of solid is it? So if it's soft, has a low melting point, and dissolves in non-polar solvents. So is it extended covalent, molecular, metallic, or ionic? Correct, it is a metallic solid. If a solid has the following properties, what type of solid is it? If it's very hard, it has a very high melting point, and it is insoluble, both in polar and non-polar solvents, is it? Extended covalent, molecular, metallic, or ionic? This is an extended covalent solid. Question 20. Why can copper conduct electricity? There may be more than one correct answer here. It has positive ions. It has valence electrons that are free to move. It is shiny. You are correct if you identified that it has valence electrons that are free to move. Why can gold be easily bent and stretched? Again, there may be more than one correct answer. Is it because it has non-directional metallic bonds, it has valence electrons that are free to move, it is soft? The two reasons related to each other are it has non-directional metallic bonds and its valence electrons are free to move. Question 22. Why does ammonia, NH3, have a low melting point? There may be more than one correct answer here. Is it because it only has a small force needed to break the bonds, it is trigonal pyramid shape, the intermolecular attractions between the molecules are weak, or they only need a small amount of energy to break the attractions? Well, it's the last two that are correct. It has um, intermolecular attractions between the molecules that are weak, so therefore only a small amount of energy is needed to break the attractions. What is the correct label for X here in the diagram? Is the correct label for X activation energy, energy, the enthalpy of reaction, H delta RH, or time. 
The correct label for this graph uh, for X is delta RH or the change in enthalpy of the reaction. Well done if you got that right. Number 25. What best describes the reaction below? Is the reaction exothermic or is the reaction endothermic? The reaction is endothermic. What best describes the reaction below? Is the reaction below endothermic or exothermic? The reaction is exothermic. Okay, so in this question here, 26, can you identify how the equation should be correctly rearranged to find the mass? Is it the first, second, third or fourth rearrangement? Which is the correct way to rearrange the equation? Of course, the last one is the correct way. Mass equals molar mass times moles. Question 27, nearly there. How many moles of ethane, C2H6, reacted when 1,780 kilojoules of energy is released? Was it half a mole, one mole, two moles, or four moles? The correct answer here was two moles of energy. Oh, sorry, not two moles of energy. Two moles of ethane was reacted. Question 29. If 0.25 moles of carbon dioxide was reacted with the reactant below, in the reaction below, sorry, it was produced in the reaction below, what was its mass? Was the mass produced 44 grams? 33 grams, 22 grams, or 11 grams. Eleven grams is the correct answer. Well done if you got that. How much energy is needed to form the bonds in the water molecule? Is it 467 kilojoules per mole? Remember we're forming the bonds. 436 kilojoules per mole, 934 kilojoules per mole, or 498 kilojoules per mole. Correct, it's 934 kilojoules per mole. What is the correct filled in equation to calculate the energy that is released in the reaction below? So have a look at the um, energies here. So is the equation delta RH equals 466 minus 934, delta RH equals 685 minus 467, delta RH equals 932 minus 394, or here we go, it is 685 minus 934. Well done if you got this question correct it um, went by pretty quickly that's the quiz it's finished well done um, if you got to this point you've done really well how many did you get right did you get more than 20 that's amazing um, look if you found this helpful again let me know in the comments and look out for extra videos that I will do um, quizzes give me some feedback on uh, the timing of the questions and anything else like that thanks very much